Hey you guys and welcome to another added detail and today I have two dolls um, that I've done this week. I have Kitty and I have Cedar. Um, I was going for something more simple just because I really wasn't sure what to do. That's why I didn't have one last week. Um, so I tried to pick two that I knew I wasn't going to do a whole lot and I pretty much did them in like two days. But that's just because I'm sure you can do these in one sitting, both of them, because that's kind of how it worked for me, is, uh, is just me doing it sporadically in two days. But let's start with Kitty, and by the way, I did fix her hair. Um, if you look back on some of my other um, videos, like either my vlogs or if you have ever seen her in the background, um, her hair has always been really, really fluffy, um, but, um, just with a little bit of water and me twirling it, um, it's got this really nice curl, like, um, she kind of does in the, sh in the show. But, I pretty much just did some dry brushing and antiquing to her earrings with some light and dark purple. Painted the inside of the ears and painted the whiskers silver, and that was something I added. To this doll is the color silver because I just felt like she needed something silver because I think what people a lot of times do with her like her bells and stuff is they make them gold and I don't to me gold didn't go with this color scheme so um yeah but I did do like the fur collar like I drew I painted it dark a darker color and then I dry brushed it with the lighter color um, like always, there will be pictures at the end and you guys will be able to see things a little bit better. But, um, yeah, like here, I dry brushed the bracelet with purple and light purple. I think I dry brushed it with dark purple. Yeah, I think I did both. I don't know. I can't remember. And then, of course, I did the bells, um, silver. I did the ring, although it's not that noticeable just because it's so small. So it's really not going to... Like, it's more noticeable in person, and even in person, you barely see it. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it was it's not that big of a deal, so... But the best part are these shoes. It took me forever to do the shoes. The shoes are what took the longest with her. Um, just because it's hard to get the... It was hard to get the whiskers and the ears down. But all it was was painting. Um, nothing special. The same thing with the heels. It was just painting. No dry brushing or antiquing of any sort. Um, although the fur on her shoes, I did uh, paint with a darker gray and then uh, dry brushed it with a lighter gray which you can kind of see it um, it's a little bit more noticeable in person than than on the camera which I hope you guys can see that it's kind of disappointing that you can't really see it I think I'm gonna go back and go with um, maybe I need to put another layer of my matte um, sealant on there because it is coming up fairly shiny than normal but yeah that's that's pretty much all I did on her other than her purse um that and she didn't really come with a whole lot like there wasn't a lot to her she didn't have a belt or um anything like that she didn't have an over fancy headband like some of the other girls do but I do love the purse the purse is probably my favorite thing other than the shoes and then I did give it a silver but uh like button right there. Um I don't I can't tell if this had eyes stitched on it. I don't know what her purse looks like in the actual show. Um because for some reason I suddenly like after I finished it, I felt like it needed to have eyes for some reason. But it, there's like no base for eyes but yeah well it was this painting and then I did um, antique this 
her, the, the, the band with a dark purple. Which you can't tell. A lot of it is stuff that you can't really see on camera, which sucks. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better in pictures. But yeah, that was her, and I'm so happy with the way her, she came out, especially now that I fixed her hair, so. And here's Cerise. And Cerise, um, Cerise, this is not Cerise, this is Cedar. And I think I said it in my vlog, she is the most disappointing I was, I was most disappointed with her doll, um, just because I got the re-release and then I realized in the re-release she basically doesn't come with anything other than her shoe and her purse. Um, they took away her bracelet. Um, I can't remember if she had a necklace or not, but I know she had a bracelet, a ring, and stuff like that. So, just, and, like, it looks like she's supposed to have a belt, but she doesn't. But, um, here's her shoes, and... Um, they do look a little muddy, and by that I mean, you can't really see a whole lot of detail, but, um, let me turn it this way. But I did do the buckle gold, um, now realizing it, you can't really, why is her, f I don't know, her shoe fits on her a little odd, but, um, the gold kind of blends in with her stocking, but not that big of a deal. I really love these shoes. I like the way it came out. I just painted the leaves green. Um, did some a lot of dry brushing. Um, I dry brushed the wood with a lighter brown. Um, antiqued the leaves with a green. Dry brushed with a lighter green. Um, and then dry brushed the straps with a purple. And then um, did the like the rivets and the um, buckle gold. So yeah. Mm. And then um, I really didn't do anything to this other than I hated the way it was in her hair so it's actually on a rubber band. And um, I pretty much just clipped off everything that was what made it a clip and glued it onto a rubber band. And now it's in her hair. Kind of perfect. Um, it does go, it, it is on a little odd. Like it sticks up kind of weird. I would have wished it was more like that instead of, yeah. So I might, I might take it off her and redo it a little bit. I did have a backup in case this didn't work, so. There's that. Um, but yeah, other than that, she really didn't come with anything other than her purse. And um, if you see, I was trying to do the kind of fade she has on her, um, on her skirt here, on her purse a little bit. Although my orange came out a little too orange, so it doesn't really go that well. But what I was trying to do was fade it from orange to light purple to darker to a darker purple. Which did work for the most part, but Yeah, I'm kinda happy. And the strap I didn't do anything to just because I didn't really think it needed to have anything done to. Here's the lid. I just kinda put a little bit of a lighter brown on top. That's the bottom. But yeah, um I mean, even with dolls, dolls like this, where they don't really come with anything, and what they do come with isn't, like, that extreme, um, you can still do stuff to them. So, I mean, even with dolls, like, Cedar pretty much is the one that comes with the least, probably, in all of my dolls. Um, so just, like, shoes, purse, and a clip that I barely even touched, um... Yeah, so even something like that, you can definitely add in detail into your dolls. And she's wobbling for some reason. She's kind of loose. A little weird. But yeah, 
That was Sir Cedar. I almost called her Cerise again. Hopefully I didn't, I wonder if I called her Cerise in the beginning. Can't remember. Um, but yeah, here's Cedar and Kitty. I almost cat, and I've been calling cat, uh, Kitty Caddy because I'm used to Caddy Noir. I don't know. Noir from Monster High. But yeah, so that's those two. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you guys do this to your own dolls or do any of my added details to your own dolls, just tag me on Instagram. I like to see y'all stuff because, I mean, if you guys ever seen me on Instagram, I like all the doll stuff. Um, I do doll stuff all the time. And if you can see, I have an added character. I finally got Apple and um, there's like two things, a couple things on her that I want to do. So she might be an added detail within, not this week, but maybe two weeks from now because I think I have two other ones already planned. So she might be one coming up in a couple weeks. But yeah, until next video, see you guys later. Bye.